I'm going to use some materials that most of us have around the house to create little transplant pots rather than using the six packs which you have to buy in a store. And the materials that I'm using are a soda can, a relatively small diameter, a sauce can, like a tomato sauce can might work as well, as that will be our mold. A plastic container, you can get salad in these, or this happened to be an Aussie Bite container from Costco that will hold the small transplant pots that we're gonna make. Some newspaper, this happens to be the New York Times Book Review, but the Willamette Weekly or another local newspaper would work equally well. I have seeds and some labeling material, and I have some soil, some potting soil that I bought. So let's take a look at how we actually do this. So the first thing you do is you take one sheet of newspaper and you hold it by the binding, the edge, and you can tear it easily into thirds, which is about the right size for your pots. And you want to tear it starting at the fold because of the way newspaper is made, it'll tear in a nice straight section that way. So then you open up the piece of newspaper and put it on your mold. And I like to do it about, you know, maybe a couple inches up. And then I turn the can and roll the newspaper over. Roll, 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 roll. So it's all on. Then I grasp it and I fold in the bottom, starting where the, the seam is. And fold that in really tight and I push it with my fist in the palm of my hand. And also to really make it flat, I put it on the table and give it a couple of turns. Then I remove the newspaper from the mold, like so, carefully and slowly. And there's your pot. So the next step, the pots are gonna go into this container Here's some that I've pre-filled with soil, just to show you how it looks. And now I'm gonna fill this container with soil. And here's a little trick for filling your containers. So what I've done is I've just filled it completely full to the top, maybe a little bit over. And rather than pushing the soil down with my fingers, I tap it on the bottom. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 a few times. And you can see what happens is the soil naturally settles to about a quarter of an inch below the top of the container. Now I'm ready to plant. So I have my charred seed laid out here. I take one of my seeds, and it said that the planting depth was a half inch, so I've laid that on top of the soil. And then I have a little um, toothpick probe that I push the seed down with to about the half inch depth that I want. Cover that with soil, but I'm not quite done yet. I want to label it so in case I plant more than one thing in this container, more than one plant, I can write on the side. That's one nice thing about having newspaper is you can write right on the side what is in each container. And I've used a Sharpie in this case, but you could also just use a pencil and then you put it in your container with the rest of your pots that have already been planted. And then you can add water. And you're ready to grow transplants.